guys, good morning. Welcome to your daily reading for November 14th, 2016. Today is Monday. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. We've got the King of Wands. We've got the Empress card reversed. And we've got the Moon card. Um, one thing I want to say before we get started is I thought this was very interesting considering that today we have a full moon in Taurus. Even more interesting is the fact that Taurus is ruled by Venus and the Empress card. And she will upright. See, the, that's the little Venus symbol right there. The Empress is also ruled by Venus. So we got full moon in Taurus, which is ruled by Venus. I thought that was very interesting. Okay, so, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I think today is, is going to be a day of uh, kind of testing your willpower, testing your strength. Um, it's going to be necessary to bridle your earthly desires. In other words, no sex today. Today is not the day to have sex. And with your King of Wands in this reading, this says to me that you have the uh, you have the power, you have the strength to overcome your earthly desires, to overcome your passions, and stick with the spiritual program. I believe if you don't today, this could really cause psychic confusion. You may even invite. Uh, unwanted astral entities and things like that if you don't uh, if you don't take charge over your earthly and fleshly desires I think that that's really important today with the king of wands here you absolutely can you have the experience you put the work in you've had the training over the course of your life you have the uh, you have the strength to put it off for a day. <laughs> um, the other thing too is to you know not start any new projects today. Today is mostly a day of kind of doing things in the home, getting the home settled, um, making sure things are nice and easy and comfortable and cozy. Today is not a day of you know bringing new projects into focus, of making important decisions. Taurus is a, a slower energy, and it's also a very practical energy. So if you've got these great, big, creative ideas, my suggestion, uh, especially due to the cards and due to uh, this lunar mansion we're in, and forgive me, I can't, re I can't remember the, the, the lunar day or the lunar mansion, but I do know that um, uh, it certainly suggests that we don't start new things today that we focus on the practical things on the earthly things like I said on keeping the family satisfied keeping the house beautified keeping it clean uh, you know you got to wrap up you got laundry laying around today is the day to do that I think too that maybe today is a day to spend time uh, alone maybe not you know with the Empress being the number three here I don't know if it's a good day to actually um, take fellowship. Today may be a day best spent alone, maybe thinking lightly about some of the creative adventures that you want to uh, start out on, or you know, maybe even thinking <clears throat> about some of the passions that you're having to keep low key today. Tomorrow, hopefully. You know, no holds barred, go for it. But today is definitely a day to keep those earthly desires, those fleshly desires, those carnal desires in check. You say, what? In Taurus, are you sure? Absolutely. Because today is a different type of Taurus day. We've got the full moon here. It's a super moon. And like I said, you know, and I should have, before I came to you with this information, I should have made sure that I had the actual uh, information as far as the lunar mansion and the lunar dates, but yes, today, unlike a regular Taurus day, we don't want to necessarily satisfy those carnal desires. Today is definitely a day that we want to focus on control. 
abstinence. Um, also, with this being a full moon, today says that, you know, there are things that are going to come into culmination. Whatever things have been building up, we get to a point today where uh, there's no more building. Whatever is coming to uh, a close, it will reach ahead today. Whatever you, what seeds you've already planted, today is the day that um, you should start to see the desired results. Now, if you've planted some bad seeds, they may be undesired results. One way or another, though, you cannot put not another seed into this day. You can't harvest not one more crop. It's a wrap for that. Everything that has been done up until this point is done. We've reached the point of culmination. And, you know, that's pretty much the way I see it. So, um, if anybody would like a personal reading, please feel free to send email to Tina at 85thHouseVibrations.net. Oh, I'm sorry. Before we move on, let's go ahead and, and do the numbers. The moon is 18 and the empress is 3. So we've got 21 and that comes to the number 3. Um, and I think this is about putting the work in. When I think of 3 today, I think about work. Not so much uh, uh, communication or anything like that amongst two or more people, no fellowship. I'm thinking work. And today is about putting the work in to harness, bridle, uh, keep under the surface those carnal desires, like I've been saying in this whole video. Um, don't be confused by the flesh. I'm going to reiterate that. Reiterate that. Don't be confused by the flesh. I think it's very important today that you master that passion. You master that energy. Keep it in check. And that's the way I see it. So if anybody would like a personal reading, you can send email to Tina at 85thHouseVibrations.net. And I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Have a great day.